Doctor, we have a hard problem in psychological profiling, and I would like to ask for your help with the questionnaire, sir. We, being the behavioral science unit at Quantico, did Jack Crawford send you to plead for my advice on him, on Buffalo Bill, I mean? No, I came because we need... How many women has he used, our little Billy? Five so far. All flayed? Partially, yes. But that is an active case, and I'm not involved. You brought your best bag, though, haven't you? Yes. It is much better than your shoes. Maybe they'll catch up. Yeah, I have no doubt of it. And how you'd hate to think you were common. Oh, my. Wouldn't that sting now? Well, you're far from common. All you have is the fear of it. Now, please, excuse me. Good day. Uh, the questionnaire, sir. Okay, shooters, on the seven-yard line. This stage of the double-action course, when the target faces you, you'll have three seconds to draw your weapon, fire two shots, and return the weapon to the holster. On the firing line, is the line ready? The line is ready. Holster your weapon, make sure it's snapped in. At the 15-yard line, shooters, once again, when the target faces you, each time the target faces you, draw your weapon and fire two shots. On the line, is the line ready? The line is ready. I wish I had time for a social life. Unit 31 was leased for 10 years, prepaid in full. The contract is in the name of a Miss Hester Muppet. You hold this, please? Yeah. Might I suggest tucking your pants into your socks to prevent the rodent intrusion? <laughs> Good idea. With Buffalo Bill, it's a little different. You'll find that he had a close relationship or desired a close relationship with his mother, but his mother rejected him. So in his fantasy, he's trying to recreate himself into something he is not. Why? The challenge. Do you have something you use when you need to, when you need to get up your courage? Memories, tableaus, scenes from early life? I don't know. Next time I'll have to check. Your first lie to me, Clarice. How sad. 
Surely the odd confluence of events has not escaped you, Clarice. Jack dangles you in front of me, and then I give you a little something for your resume. Do you think it is because I like to look at you and imagine how good you would taste? I don't know, is it? There is something Jack Crawford can give me, and I want to trade for it. But he hates me, so he won't deal directly. That is why you are here. Clarice, smile. We're going to be partners. And who's gonna be there with you then? Who's gonna be there with you, devil? It's gonna get you. And you're gonna be begging and pleading, no, let me have a last chance. You say, say okay. He take you up to the gate, and St. Peter looks around. Your name ain't on the book. Forensic man from Wheeling is meeting Jack down there to print the floater. They want you to help out. You think you can handle it? Uh, yes, sir, I do. You don't have a duty piece yet, right? No, sir. Let's go. You know, a floater's no day at the beach, darling. So I believe, sir. Chop. Thank you, Mr. Brigham. Bless you, Stalin. One more thing, Starling. You don't have to like me or the way I get results, but you do have to keep a cool head. Because from here on out, you'll know everything I do. Yes, sir. Some kind of cocoon found lodged in the throat. Sir? Hmm. I wonder if that's the first time that he's done that, um, placed a cocoon or an insect. It'd be very easy to miss in an autopsy. Do you think we can check back on that with the others? Exhumation orders are tough to get. You need permission of the family. Sir, have them, have them check Rex Bale's head, Dr. Lecter's patient. Have them probe his soft palate tissue. They'll find it. They'll find another cocoon. You seem pretty sure of that. Rash Bale was killed by the same man who's killing these girls. And Lecter knew that. He knew him. It, maybe he even treated him. Now, that's what he meant by fledgling killer. That's why he is so sure that he can help us. You think so, too, don't you? Before we caught him, Lecter had a big psychiatric practice in Baltimore. But he also traveled around the country lecturing, consulting Christ, even testifying in murder trials. And who knows how many psychopaths he turned loose just for the fun of it. Follow up on that bug when we get back. You're doing good, Starling. Thank you very much, sir. It looks like a damn good deal, sir. You think he'll go for it? The man's a raving maniac. Who knows what he'll do? Are you up to this? Yes, sir, I'm up to it. Now, Lecter's offered us his help. Couldn't we just ask him for Bill's identity? You told me you don't spook easily. You call this easy, sir? Wouldn't you say, Clarice, that for a United States senator, you are a very odd choice to act as a messenger? How was your choice, Dr. Lecter? You chose to speak with me. Would you prefer someone else? Or maybe you don't really know anything that can help us? That is both impudent and untrue. Tell me, how did you feel when you viewed our little Billy's latest effort? Or should I say his next to latest? By the book, he's a sadist, but that doesn't- Life is too slippery for books, Clarice. Didn't you know that typhoid and swans came from the same god? Tell me his name. No names. No names. But I'm still waiting for your offer, Clarice. Please, enchant me. Marker. Happy hunting. 
I'm Clarice. Next time you will tell me why you ran away, won't you? Now listen carefully, because I will not repeat this. You're trying to obtain a list of males rejected by all three gender centers. Check first the ones rejected for having lied about criminal records. Look for severe childhood disturbances associated with violence. How Billy wasn't born a killer, Clarice. Oh no, he was made one through years of systematic abuse. Go to the personality tests. Study their drawings. Billy's houses will be very small, with tiny windows, no flowers, no pets, no toys, no sun. And his females will be even more crudely sketched than his males. But he will compensate with exaggerated adornments, jewelry, big breasts, and then his trees. Oh, yes, Clarice. His trees will be frightful. How Billy hates his own identity, you see. He always has, and he thinks that makes him a transsexual. But his pathology is a thousand times more savage and more terrifying. He wants to be reborn, you see. How Billy wants to be reborn, Clarice. And he will be reborn. Okay, cut, print it. I mean, super duper 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 duper. Fuck! Starling wants you to rot here in this little box until your teeth fall out and nobody's afraid of you anymore. You've seen the old ones. Hannibal, they weep when their stewed peaches get cold. That'll be you, too. Unless. You trade with me. I'm not having a witch hunt here, Mr. Crawford. It would be someone you refused because he tried to conceal a record of criminal violence. Now, please, doctor, time's running out. Just show us the ones you've turned away. Examination and interview materials are confidential. We've never violated an applicant's trust, and we never will. Violate? Look, take a look at this. Now, sometime tomorrow or tomorrow morning, he's going to do this to Catherine Martin. Thank you. That was a childish bullying stunt, Mr. Crawford. I was a battlefield surgeon. Good day. Dr. Danielson? Look, search your own record. You can do it a lot faster than us anyway. Our patients are decent, nonviolent people with real sexual problems. Dr. Danielson, if we find Buffalo Bill through your information, I'll suppress that. Nobody has to know you cooperated. Truth will out, Mr. Crawford. And then what? Will you give Johns Hopkins a new identity? To put a big pair of dark glasses on this building and a funny nose? Well, oh, that's very clever, Doctor. Very humorous. You like the truth? Try this. He kidnaps young women and rips their skin off. We don't want him to do that anymore. If you don't help me just as fast as you can, the Justice Department is going to ask publicly for a court order. We'll ask twice a day, just in time for the TV news, when Catherine Martin turns up dead and floating, and the next one and the next one, why we'll just issue another press release about good old Dr. Danielson down at Johns Hopkins, complete with all his humorous fucking remarks. It may be that uh, I could confer with my colleagues on this and get back to you. Would you, doctor? That would be so kind. Jack, I'm the director. Crawford, sir. Crawford, why on earth didn't you just tell the senator about Lecter's offer? Because, Mr. Krendler, I was afraid the senator would do exactly what she's doing. Meanwhile, Memphis is mine. May God have mercy on your soul, pal. Chilton's killed her, hasn't he? That slimy little bastard. We were so close with Lecter. What now, sir? You're going back to school, Starling. Sir? Thanks for the help. Study hard. There's a place for you in my unit when you graduate. Excuse me, sir, but if you didn't want me chasing Buffalo Bill, you should never have taken me down to see that girl in West Virginia, sir. Starling, you're an inch away from being booted out of the academy. Get it? What about Memphis? If I show up in Memphis, the senator will have me checking parking meters and anchorage for the rest of my career. Not you, sir. Me. Lecter will talk to me. Even if he would still talk to you, which is highly debatable, they'd never let you in to see him. I'd like to try. Respectfully, sir, I am the last bullet you've got. Bring him something. 
I brought the Hawk Mountain Killer, a pint of my wife's banana chocolate pudding. Once he talked to me all night. There's a plane waiting for you now at the airstrip. OK, great. Can those cops down there handle Dr. Lecter, sir? They'll use their best men, but they better be paying attention. He will. I've got a U.S. senator half out of her head because her daughter's going to be murdered today. And all because of your fucking mind games with Lecter. With all due disrespect, he'd still be in custody in Baltimore if you hadn't interfered. Well, maybe he lives in this Belvedere, Ohio, too. And maybe he saw Frederica every day and he just killed her sort of spontaneously. He, he, he just meant to give her a soda pop and talk about the... Starling. But then he had to cover it up. He had to make her seem like all the rest. And that's exactly what Lecter was hinting about. The market in Lecter hints is way down today. OK? I've got two good men dead in Memphis and three civilians. Who the hell's fault's that? You sent in a green recruit with a phony goddamn He's trying offer. to cover your ass for letting him escape. That's enough. All of you. Starling, I'm afraid I have no choice. You're suspended from the academy. I can promise you'll get a fair hearing. Jack, you're exhausted. I want you to take administrative leave, then transfer command of the task force effective at 1,800 hours. I'm sorry, Jack. We've got to go to Belvedere, sir. Ohio's cold ground picked over 10 months ago. Our people worked it, so did the locals. Yeah, but not from this angle, not thinking that he knew her. You've got to go, sir. You heard them, Sterling. I don't have the authority. Well, then send me, then. All of his victims are women. He, he's obsessed with women. He lives to hunt women. But not a single woman is hunting him except for me. You're suspended, Clarice. He's going to kill her and skin her this morning or at noon. But today, Belvedere's our last chance. I'm flying there right now. Taxi! Sterling! Sir? There's 300 bucks here, and a hotline code number. They'll patch you through to me wherever I am. Great. Great. Thank you, sir. Jack, Chronicle called. The people from Johns Hopkins are anxious to talk to you. I've got them on the mobile phone. Great. Have a nice flight, and watch out for the hawks, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm sorry if I was rude, but she woke me up. See, I work night. Looks like 
Yeah, I, I shiver every time I think about those poor girls. The night sky is always ablaze with stars and constellations. Orion will look beautiful tonight, Clarice, and Arcturus, the herdsman, with his flock. But your flock is still for now, Clarice, but not forever. For you, there will always be other lambs on other nights. Dr. Lechner. Ah, well. Then goodbye, my dear. 